How goes it, everybody? Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day. Today's subject matter is going to be basically talking about an article that I um, read the other day. Really goes into the need for especially African American families. You know, we talk about the family unit, the strong and the unity of the family unit, and how important it really is. Um, but we need to bring the, the conversation, and it boils down to the need to have side hustles, home based businesses, investments, and businesses that can hire those within your family. The article talked about as of October 2019, and the, uh, the African, un- African American unemployment rate was about at 50%, even though the economy continues to add jobs on a regular basis. Now, a lot of jobs that are being added are low-wage jobs and temporary jobs all at the same time. Remember, I do not get into politics and debates that are not going to resolve anything. I like to invest my time wisely. I'm just stating that a lot of new jobs that have been added, uh, no matter who's in office and who's not in office, um, some of them, even the ones that are high paid, the very temp jobs, and a lot of times even when people get paid a lot of money nowadays, they don't have financial intelligence education to in order to, instead of buy nice stuff, to actually buy assets. So that's just another thing to take um, into consideration. I like to invest my, t- my time wisely. I'd rather learn from people than argue with people and um, have intellectual discussions and things of that nature. The article stated that it, is all, it all boils down to education. According to the National Center for Education Statistics, there were large gaps in reading and math achievements between children in grades 4 through 12. Data was taken in 1992 to and in 2015, and no significant improvement was seen between the two periods. Education is a maker of both the extent to which people are hired and the level of income for those who are employed. Now. Um, I beg to differ. I've seen a lot of um, people within um, the African American community, my community, uh, thrive in education. At least I can speak for the DMV area. A lot of people with uh, degrees and certifications and things, and even businesses and high paying jobs and things of that nature. But other community, other parts of the country might be different. So, you know, I take this with this data with a grain of salt. You know, now education, in my opinion, is very important especially when it comes down to reading, writing, basic math, and so on. But one of the biggest problems when it comes to education, and at times um, certain families, is that the teaching of one-on-one aspects of business, setting up a personal bank account, business account, personal um, credit cards, and personal business credit cards, you know, talk about how one can even obtain it, and then talk about how they can leverage it so that it works out for them in their favor so that one can make money, moves, and economic power plays today and in the future. You know, teach children the differences of low interest savings accounts and high interest savings accounts and different retirement accounts to utilize and leverage and so on. Because no matter what education system you deal with and go through, one thing is true. What is really taught in a household would and should resonate with a child before uh, what a teacher is teaching them. Mindset and what people feed their minds, bodies, and soul has a huge effect on people of all ages. And if you are feeding yourself crap, then, you know, for the most part, you're going to come out with crap. You know, it's like you're going to eat fast food every day. It's the most likely not going to be your in your best interest. If you're not going to try to exercise to um, be a little bit healthier, it's not going to be in your best interest. You know, it's every little bit counts. Now, we're never all going to be the same. It'd be a boring world if we were. But every little bit counts when it, tries to, when it comes to progressing and bettering yourselves. I try to strive for that every day, and I hope that you all try to do the same thing as well. The article talked about how some of the differences in the levels of math and reading achievements may be based on uh, some schools, districts, how um, in regards to what they spend on each student. In certain poor districts, less uh, money is put into education compared to others. And a lot of times that has to not only do with the... Um, not the, the salary base, but a tax base, because obviously every district is different. And if you're not collect, collecting enough tax revenue, then your schools are not even going to be able to be able to fund themselves. However, it is on us as a community to start moving in a more collective manner so that when a child leaves a high school, leaves high school, they are a little more mentally prepared to, um, to deal with today and tomorrow's economy. Because the thing is, we, might, we live in an information age, but one thing I can say with sincerity is that you have to be way more intelligent and be more strategic in regards to how you're going to um, function in life compared to how it was for um, previous generations where it was just get a job, work there for 30, 40 years, and you'll be taken care of. Those days are dead and gone, and we know for the most part they're not coming back. 
So, because in the age of information, we need to consume, consume, consume valuable information, not negative and nonsense uh, information, and apply it. And even if you have children, please apply it to them as well. I say this because unfortunately we see more school budgets getting cut. So uh, with so many online platforms out there need to be actually taken advantage of. And a lot, a lot of times they're a lot more cheaper, you know, to take advantage of. Um, and just making financial intelligence a part of the everyday conversation, you know, make it fun. Like people talk about sports and entertainment. Another major reason for the employment gap is uh, the article stated was because of the incarceration rates. Many experts argue that according to Pew, in 2017, blacks represented 12% of the United States adult population, but 33% of the sentenced prison population. I say this because uh, uh, one of the smartest pieces of advice that was um, given out to um, in, uh, prior inmates, people who used to be in prison and whatnot, is you should um, basically is that when you uh, get out of prison, you should do your best. You should do your best, okay? Um, to uh, make financial intelligence a part of your everyday lifestyle, okay? That's one thing. So with YouTube, immerse yourself in the culture, right? Immerse yourself in the culture. Another thing is when you first get out of prison, obtain a job, live like others won't live, so you can obtain um, the sort of lifestyle that others won't have, have side hustles, you know, try to obtain, save up enough money and partner with the right people, because who you're around, surround yourself with matters, you know, and, um, Try to try to form a business so that you can have what others don't have um, by just taking a couple of years of your life and dedicating your time to, and energy towards it. It is nece it's a necessity for people that are in that position to become an entrepreneur. I myself don't have a criminal record, don't plan on having a criminal record anytime soon, but I know it's much harder for people to get a job when they have a criminal record. So trying to become an entrepreneur, because you know, one thing, the craziest thing is, I'm not advocating for people to sell drugs because that's wrong and it's, it's immoral and it's illegal, so definitely don't do it. But drug dealers are the best entrepreneurs out there. It's a, it's a proven fact. So if they just apply that same energy to something positive and legal, they could flourish in this economy and in this world. You just never know, right? Taking one great example, it was, you know, because um, it just, it really boils down to it. I've seen it, um, I'll get into the example later, but I've seen uh, how a lot of people who used to be, I've seen the documentaries, used to be in prison, um, in prison and they learned how to become a barber in prison. Um, and this is actually in the state of Virginia. It was a great uh, YouTube documentary, you should look it up. I forgot the name of it, but just put uh, prison barbers in Virginia and you'll see it. Um, and there's a program, this gentleman who was a, a prisoner and he came back to prison to teach other um, prisoners who wanted to become barbers, barbers. And now some of them from Fredericksburg, Virginia, to Sterling, Virginia, to Richmond, Virginia, and other parts of the state of Virginia, they actually own their own barber shops now. They're actually just certified barbers, okay? And that's a skilled trade that, they, that you can turn into a business. You know, it's all about mindset. It's all about thinking differently and thinking outside of the box. You know what I'm saying? So um, it's, just one, it's just one thing to, to, to you know, take into consideration you know because it is a necessity it's becoming a necessity for regular working people so if you're a person with a criminal record you know it's just something you need to to, to take into consideration now um one great example is i don't know if you've seen these shows i know one is not on anymore which is sweetie pies i think hustle and soul might still be on um but these are great examples of people who were in jail um and their mother the beautiful thing is about these gentlemen um unfortunately having to spend time in prison you know, getting in trouble with the law, um, their mothers actually showed, they knew that it was going to be very hard for them getting out of prison, trying to get a job. So they said it was in their best interest to create something so that when they get out, they can give them a job. So that's not giving somebody a handout, that's giving somebody a hand up. I'm all about it, okay? And that's one thing I can say I, I love the most about this, this show, Hustle and Soul and Sweetie Pies, is that it shows that positive family aspect of things working out in the way that it should be working out, okay? Now, um, you know, I know these stories are far and few in between for so many, but it can be a lesson that every family needs to have at least one successful business. Say if you have, your last name is Johnson, right? And you have 100 to 200 people in, in your family that you know of that's part of the Johnson family. Every single member of that Johnson family say, has a job. Every single member out of 100 to 200 has a job, and not one member of that family has a business where somebody in the family can have a job is a real big problem. Sorry to say it, but I'm gonna say it. It's a very big problem. When you can give a family member a job or a contract for their services, 
you are engaging in what is called um, you are engaging in what is called family financial love making family financial love making okay you are supposed to have love for your family because of your family but then when you get into the financial aspect financial aspects of it there should be fan, family financial love making you have couples who are doing business with one another and they make money with one another which falls into the category of making financial love one of the biggest problems in the african-american community that i've seen is that we do not do enough of we do it but we don't do enough of this financial love making and financial you know financial family love making going on period remember that every person cannot be a business owner we all know that the economy could not function if everybody was a business owner somebody has to work for somebody eventually right okay we all know that however everyone needs to be an investor and have some sort of multiple streams of income period i don't care if it's a stock market i don't care if it's bonds i don't care what it really is as long as it has some sort of a return on your investment somehow some way take it you know and and these conversations need to actually happen around the dinner table like if you're talking about who the new quarterback is for your your favorite football team good add financial intelligence into that same subject matter okay it's the same thing oh i saw the grammys and i love this performance good add in financial intelligence to that same uh, subject matter okay that's all i'm saying just put add it on okay <laughs> add it in there make it fun you know because take it take into consideration um something like care parks international gold investment team where you can buy gold refer people and make money from gold investments and the referrals are at the same time this is these are small investments that you can make with your friends and family okay the, my link will be in the description you can look look up um care bars international see what, what it is and if it's for you great and if it's not then that's fine as well but it's like i've been i've been saying my new saying is keep currency in your circle okay keep currency in your circle meaning if you have a circle of people that are always talking about what they got but it's never in regards to asset accumulation or anything of that nature or making an asset accumulation power play then i'm going to say that you're in the wrong circle hands down if you do not have currency conversations with people in your circle then 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 uh with um your life will life outcome will not shape up the way you want it to it will shape up the way others want to it's definitely something to think about okay sorry for that this error message keeps popping up and it's actually taking me off so i'll make sure i take care of it but um hopefully you guys enjoyed the video you know look into the care bars international family see what's going on i'm gonna fix this error and see what, what that's all about i can't stand it but um this is you know become a part of the team you know we need to have economic teams in this life you know and the more the more we do have in, in economic investors the more we have business owners the more better off we can be whether the economy is going up or going down we just have to start having each other's back way more like i said look into it the link will be in the description you can look into it sign up as an affiliate um and remember you can't get fired if you own the company and i've i've heard from so many fathers and mothers the joy of being able to hire their own family members and whatnot instead of their family members having to go outside of the family to find employment that's true power economic empowerment right there and you gotta love that all right so remember you can't get fired if you own the company and this to r.i.p to, to kobe bryant his daughter and the rest of the people that were on that helicopter but one thing i can say about kobe bryant and a lot of even the people that were in that helicopter is that they had the power to hire their children their children did not have to go out and get a job if they didn't want to Okay, I've worked with people who come from family businesses and they're like, yeah, I wanted to get away and do something different and whatnot. I don't have to be here, but I actually love, they, they love their job and their mission and whatnot. But the fact that they had that as an option to go back to their family business, it's just a beautiful thing. Like I said, not everybody has to own a business. Okay, but that same person talked very intelligently about business, one, because she grew up in the family business and two, very strategically about different kinds of investments that are available out there for regular everyday working people so i'm just taking it's taken to consideration so hope you guys enjoyed the video please give a thumbs up subscribe check out my online store if you need any specific merchandise and specifically financial intelligence products from letters and thing goes and hey hopefully you guys have a great day and uh, keep doing what you're doing all right take care